Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. Uh, in this example here we're gonna look to two similar triangles. Hey, what is cool about similar triangle? If you notice here, we have two properties. One, the corresponding angles are congruent, one the corresponding sides are proportional. These are two important properties for this uh, similar triangle. And in part A, they ask us to find x and y. How are we gonna do that by using proportion. But in this case you really need to be consistent. So the proportion is going to be AB, BC, and AC. So if you notice I wrote the sides of the small triangle. You can start with the larger triangle. And on the bottom I'm going to write the corresponding sides from the larger triangle. DE Um, EF and DF. And now we're going to replace them with uh, letters and uh, numbers, variable and numbers, right? So AB is 9, DE is Y, this we need to be found, BC is X. EF it's 16. So look into this uh, proportion here. Obviously we cannot use them because we have two variables. And let's write the last one, AC 15, DF 20. So now this is the clue. We're gonna use these two. All right? Uh, so we're gonna have X over 16 equals 15 over 20 and then we have 20 times x which is 20x equals 15 times 16 so 20x equal and by the way if you a calculator that is not allowed try to do it without 240 divide by 20 x equals 12. And we're going to do the same thing for y. Okay? Now for y, we're going to take 9 over 1 equals 15 over 20. The same cross multiplication, 9 times 20 is 180 equals 50y. Divide by 15. And y will be 12. Hmm, that is interesting. Uh... Yeah, 12. Yeah, 12 is good. Okay, because they are in different triangles. This is 12. And this is tough. Yeah, it does make sense. Um, and part B, in this part B, we need to find the measure of angle at this one, right? And uh, looking to this, we, we notice this is 37. So this one will be 37. And B is 63. So this one will be also 63. So how are we going to find uh, um, the measure of angle F? We're going to have 37 plus 62 plus the measure of angle F equals 180. Okay, 37 plus 62. And obviously we have to subtract 99 from 180 and we get 81. The measure of angle F is 81. So now we have everything they ask us for. 
if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more. Thank you.